Hey, 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 guys, and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 4. So, in the previous episode, we defeated the two Entropies and put an end to their evil plan. Now we've made our way to the Snacks Dimension, where the first level is Food Run, so I'm guessing that's time for Crash and his friends to relax after being on such a big, like, dimensional adventure and taking down these bad guys. So that being said, guys, let's do it! Let's go on a food run, I guess. <laughs> so it seems like these are futuristic levels, kind of like the ones in Crash Bandicoot 3. And I love the future levels in Crash Bandicoot 3, so let's see if these future levels are just as good. <laughs> okay, let's do this! Whoa! You said it, Crash. We can meet with the others after we've explored. Now, which way are the food trucks? Yes, where are the food trucks? We're starving! We've had such a big adventure! Now it's time to relax and gorge on some food! Haha! <laughs> Alright. Oh, there's a firebox. Alright. Awesome, let's do this! Wow, this level looks beautiful. It kind of reminds me of uh, Android Alley from a Nitro Field. It does look a lot like that. But yeah, alright. Oh, thank you, Mr. Robot, for carrying my box for me, I guess. <laughs> oh, I can see the hidden gem over there. It's on the uh, left side. I can see it. All right, let's see how this is going to work. Okay, so these vehicles fall down. Whoa, okay, okay. Skills, skills. I am the Crash Bandicoot King. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> we got it, guys. We got it without dying, too. What the heck is that over there? A trash can robot? Okay then, he looks kind of scared. Oh, okay. He's trying to defend himself. We'll take this. Jeez, I'm not gonna die to a trash can. Oh, I missed a box. I have to go back for that. I've died to a lot of ridiculous things in video games, but I'm not gonna die to a trash can, okay? I've died to a door, I've died to a turtle, I'm not dying to a trash can, okay? <laughs> All right then, okay. Man, I really love the music in this level. The music is awesome. Oh, hello, Kapunawa. Alright. Slow down time! Oh, another trash can. Get out of here! And oh, that was a recycling uh, trash can robot. Interesting. Oh, okay. Go, Crash, go! Nice. Alright. Up we go. So where are these food trucks? Crash is hungry, man! He's hungry! He's been hard at work saving the world! It's time to have a snack! Whoa, okay, okay. That looks dangerous, okay. Jeez, these robots! They've turned on me! They're turning on me! They were helping me before by holding onto my crates for me. Now they're trying to kill me! Okay, okay, whoa, okay, okay, okay! No! I was so close! Why, Rope? Why? Why did you betray me? Ah, uh, okay. Whatever. Let's try that again. Yum yum, a golden wampa. Delicious and nutritious. Haha. <laughs> okay. Stay away from me. Ah, uh, okay. Whoa, enemies. Enemies everywhere. Alright. Oh, come on, man. Oh, jeez. I shouldn't have doubled back like that. I screwed myself over! Okay, I can tell this level is going to be really hard. It's going to be a challenge, that's for sure. But I am the- oh, okay. I am the king of Crash Bandicoot! And I can beat any level that this game throws at me. I do not shy away from a challenge. I refuse! Okay, awesome. Uh-oh, we got some wall riding up ahead. Okay, whoa. Go crash! Whoa, okay, that was close. Another friendly robot! Thanks for the crate! <laughs> Alright. Well, we found the food trucks, so that's good. We're just war riding on them, though. We're not uh, getting food from them. Oh, look, uh, Dingo Dial in the background. I guess he uh, made a franchise for himself in this uh, future. Is this a different dimension, though, or is this like in the future? 
I can't really tell because this is the Snacks Dimension, so is that a different Dingo Dial that's made a name for himself in this dimension? Or is it our Dingo Dial? I don't know. That would be cool if it is though. Oh, okay. Jeez, more of these TNT bots. They really want me dead, don't they? <laughs> okay. Oh, look, there's more of them. Oh, look, it's a party. It's a party. Everyone wants to meet me. Oh, look, there's more over there. I can see you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What do I do? What do I do? Ah, I'm scared. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Checkpoint. Oh, okay. So it seems like we're using all of the quantum masks in this level. We've seen a Kapunawa Ika Ika and a Kano. Oh, okay, well, okay, okay. Well, that's where the uh, flashback tape is, but I kind of died a few times. Sorry, flashback tape. Not collecting you today. <laughs> okay. Go, Crash, go. Why are we running past and avoiding all of these food trucks? Oh, there's Lani Loli, the last uh, quantum mask that we had to come across in this level. <laughs> okay. All right, then. We found them all. Anyway, bonus round time. Okay. Oh, I think I already screwed up. Yeah, I screwed up. Oh, yay! I screwed up. Awesome. That didn't take long. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Oh, my goodness. All right. The Crash Bandicoot Crawl. All right. Come on, Kapuna. Wow, we can do this. Okay, so we set this off first. To trigger those outline crates. We can jump across these. Set this off. Set that off to trigger all the nitros. Get rid of those and oh. Oh no, I screwed up again. I screwed up again. No. Sorry, Crash. You gotta die once again. <laughs> Alright then. Third time's the charm, right? Third time is the charm. I kind of know what's going on now. So let's try this again. Also, why is there a neon picture of uh, Aku Aku there? Is Aku Aku like a celebrity in the future? Okay, then. Alright, let's go, let's go. Oh, jeez. Oh, what is going on here? Uh... Okay. That works. For a second there, I thought I screwed up again. But it's fine, it's fine, guys. Set these off. Quick crash! Oh my goodness, that was extremely close. I almost died. Alright. So we just set off another exclamation mark crate, which is interesting. Or activation crate. Whatever you want to call it. Oh, that set off these things. Oh, okay. Whoa, okay, okay. That's going to set off. Yep, okay. We did it! We did it, guys! Okay. Had to use my brain for that one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we got all of the Wampa Gems! And almost all of the boxes! Oh! No, 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 Mr. TNT Crate Bot! That is not allowed, sir! You can blow up! <laughs> and I can see that other TNT Bot just waiting for me! Kaboom! Take that! <laughs> you jerk! Alright. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, this looks fun! Okay, 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 okay. I gotta become a master of Lani Loli's abilities! Okay, okay. Oh good, a box in- Whoa, okay, that was very close, I almost died again. Okay, okay, the end is right there, we're not dying now. Yes! We did it! We did it! That was the most stressful food run I've ever done in my life! <laughs> yes! All of the gems! And a trophy! Like a rhinestone bandicoot! Heck yeah! Okay, so I just didn't get the flashback tape and the insanely perfect relic, but that's fine. I think for the most part, I did pretty good in that level. I think I did pretty good. That wasn't bad. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. That was kind of stressful though. I'm not going to lie. That was pretty, pretty stressful. Okay. So what's next? What's next in the snacks dimension? Oh, rush hour. Which is a Dingo Dial and Torna level? Okay, interesting. Yeah, okay. Both Dingo Dial and Torna are going into this level. This is gonna be interesting. 
Because I don't think we've had a level like this before where we play as Torna and Dingo Dial. I mean, obviously in the Dingo Dial and Torna levels, you play as them for a bit and then play as Crash, but there hasn't been a level where we play as Dingo Dial and Torna in the same level. So, yeah, this is going to be cool. I wonder how this is going to work out. It's going to be interesting indeed. Like, are they going to help each other with puzzles and stuff? I don't know. It would have been really cool if there was a level with Torna and Dingo Dial showing how they met because they kind of just showed up together in a cutscene. We didn't actually see them meeting, but yeah, that was kind of weird, but oh well. <laughs> let's see if these tall poppies know how to smoke a steak. Yes, let's see Dingo Dial. <laughs> but yeah, it would have been cool if there was a level that showed uh, Torna and Dingo Dial meeting. So it seems like we're starting off as Dingo Dial, so maybe we just play as Dingo Dial for a bit and then play as Torna? Probably. That would make sense. But yeah guys, I am a little disappointed that Entropy's partner wasn't Entrance. Like, that would have been so awesome because in the older Crash Bandicoot games, Entrance was like a friend of Entropy's from another dimension. Like, he was from like the 8th dimension or something like that, so I kind of wish it was him or a more original character rather than just like an alternate version of Entropy. Like the whole thing of Entropy flirting with his female self, like that was really really funny. <laughs> and yeah, I do like the dynamic between Entropy and his female version, but I think this would have been a really good opportunity to bring in Entrance into the series. That would have been so cool. And also, why wasn't there an Oxide boss battle? What the heck? Why would you have Oxide in the game and we don't even get to fight him? That was totally a missed opportunity. I think what should have happened is that Oxide should have been the boss of the uh, Bermugula's orbit area, and then Entropy and Female Entropy, they should have been the bosses of this dimension. I think that would have worked better. But, oh well, I don't mind what we got. Wow, wow, Dingo Dial. I'm trying to give my opinions here about this game, and you try to censor my opinions? Or oh, best not to think about that! Jeez. Oh, there's a secret area down there. I was wondering why that part of the wall was broken. You can't hide things from me, game. <laughs> but jeez, Dingo Dial. Doesn't want me to talk about the, uh, you know, parts of the game that I have opinions on. Jeez. Fine then. I'll just stay silent, I guess. Ugh. Whoa, how does this work? There's a golden wampa underneath that. Does this mean I have... Franchise potential? Yeah, it seems like it. Oh, come on! How is that supposed to work? Are you serious, game? Oh, well. So, yeah, I'm wondering if this is going to be the last world. Or if there's one more world after this one. Like, is this just like a bonus world? After beating the Entropies? Or is there one more boss? I don't know. Because usually there's a world where we get a mask... And then after that, there's a world with a boss, and then it goes in that pattern, like, mask, boss, mask, boss. But we've got all of the masks, so what's going to happen at the end of this world? I don't know. Am I a franchise? Could I open a restaurant? In an airport? <laughs> oh, Dingo Dial in his dreams. Very wholesome indeed. Okay. Yeah, like, I wouldn't be surprised if there's one more world after this one. And maybe there's one more boss, like maybe it's Cortex, maybe Cortex betrays us. That would make sense because, you know, Cortex is working with us right now. Oh, okay, there's nothing back here. I just wanted to make sure there was nothing back here. <laughs> yeah, Cortex is working with us now, but surely they're going to make him a bad guy again for the next game, right? Cortex isn't going to stay a good guy. Oh, oh, okay, okay, almost died there. I almost died. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I kind of got the feeling that Cortex is going to betray us at some point, and then we probably have to fight him again in the, the last boss battle. Or maybe there's going to be an Uka Uka boss battle, because he was in the beginning of the game, and then he just completely disappeared. Like, what the heck? I really thought that Uka Uka was going to play a part in this story, but he really hasn't so far. Like, he got abandoned by Cortex and Entropy, and we just haven't seen him since. Like, what the heck? 
So I kind of have the feeling that maybe there's going to be an Uka Uka boss battle, or maybe another Cortex one. But I think I would prefer an Uka Uka boss battle because having two boss battles of the same character in one game, like, that's kind of eh. I'd rather have, like, boss battles with different characters, you know? But that's just my opinion, like, I think that's why a lot of people didn't like the boss battles in, uh, Wrath of Cortex. Because it was crunch, 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 crunch. All of them were crunch boss battles. The only things that made those boss battles kind of cool was the fact that you play against a different uh, elemental mask in each boss battle. But, uh, I never really had a problem with those boss battles, though. But, whoa, okay, that was way too close for my liking. Jeez. Alright, get over here, vacuum bot. I think you're a vacuum bot. I don't know. There's a lot of uh, robots in these levels, that's for sure. Oh, okay. Oh, alright. Had to be very quick there. Okay. Yeah, I think I was saying before that I was kind of annoyed that uh, the Dingo Dial gameplay of the previous Dingo Dial levels was a bit short. But uh, this one is way longer, which I like. I kind of wish there was more levels like this. Where it was uh, more centered on uh, Dingo Dial and Torn and Cortex. And I would have preferred it if we got more time with Dingo Dial, Torn and Cortex in their respective levels, rather than it being mostly, you know, Crash and Coco gameplay, but... Oh well. But like I said before, I think in a way those levels were supposed to be like the death routes of this game. I think. I don't know. Okay. Gotta blow up these nitros. And... Whoa! That guy is just waiting for me! That robot is just camping! Camper! <laughs> he is just waiting for me! Oh my goodness, okay. Well, it's time to die! Haha! <laughs> you can't keep me from my golden Wampa boxes! The deliciousness and nutritiousness! Oh, okay. Oh, how is this gonna work? Alright, we have to wait. Have to go back and wait. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, okay. Go! 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 Aku Aku, protect me! Oh, okay. This is getting intense. Leave me alone, Nitro Bot! <laughs> Leave me alone! Oh my goodness, that was intense. Oh look, there's another one up there! Oh goody! Blow up all these uh, stinking Nitro Crates. Oh, I just totally missed that one. Oh well. Jump, jump, jump! Ah, uh, too many Nitro Bots! I keep my franchise because I saw my future franchise. Oh, bollocks, my head hurts. Oh my goodness, there's way too many Nitros here. Oh, jeez, man. That was stressful. <laughs> okay. Seems like there's a secret path over here. Oh, and the hidden gem. I can see that. Ha 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 ha. All right. Two hidden gems in one video. Awesome. We're doing pretty good. Alright, go Dingo Dial. Nice. Hidden gem found. Okay, so now we need to go back and break those last few boxes. Hopefully those Nitro Bots are gone. I kind of have the feeling that they're not though. <laughs> and uh, once we break those boxes, we can go through that elevator. Which I'm guessing is going to take me to the Torna part of the level. So yeah. Ugh, there is a lot of Nitros there. If I have to take a hit with the Aku Aku, I will. And it seems like I'm going to have to. Yep. Sorry, Aku Aku. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Oh, okay. I am not going to die now. I refuse to die. Oh, okay, we did it. Thank goodness for that. Wonder what the local delicacy is here. I hope it's spicy and fried. Okay, time to play as Torna. Let's do this. Oh, I just completely missed that. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Recycle bot. Take that. Haha. Oh no. Get out of here. Oh, do I not kill this guy? Oh, I jump on him. Oh, I'm sorry for kicking you in the face. These uh, hot dog vendor robots are actually friendly. That's nice. You're not though. Get out of here. Whoa. Oh, there's an arrow crate there. And that's why, because there's a box up there. Good thing I didn't break that. There we go. Oh my goodness, I only have the second Wampa Gem now? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Oh, rail grinding time. 
Yeah, woohoo! Let's do this! Nice! Alright. Whoa! Okay. Take that! Ha ha! Yeah, I like that when the robots get dizzy. Oh, are you kidding me? No! Oh, I was probably so close to getting the perfect relic again! Oh, I did so good in Dingo Dial's part. Oh, and now I'm screwing up in Torna's part. Isn't that typical, guys? Isn't that typical of me? Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Anyway, guys, I was gonna say that I like that when the robots get dizzy, there's like Wumpa Fruits going around their heads. <laughs> That's a really cool little detail. I like that. But this game is full of cool little details. It's really awesome. I am really impressed with this game. I think it's a... Whoa! I think it's a worthy Crash Bandicoot 4 game for sure. Oh my goodness. And I'm sure most people will probably like this more than uh, Wrath of Cortex. Okay, gotta be careful here. This is why I died last time. Can, can you kick the guy, please? Oh my goodness, Torna. Jeez. That was kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Oh no, red outline crates, I hate these. These have to be the most annoying thing in this game. All right, let's do this. Gotta be smart about it. Go, 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 go Torna. Heck yeah, that worked. All right, gotta break the TNT with my uh, hook shot. All right, we got this. Well, what? Oh, oh, I didn't see that until the last second. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, come on, Torna. There we go. That's how we do it. Alright. Checkpoint. Some more rail grinding. Heck yeah. Whoa, I almost didn't see that. Whoa, okay, okay. Oh my goodness, that was so close. Did you guys see that? I almost got electrified there. Oh jeez, okay. Checkpoint, once again. This level was pretty generous so with its checkpoints, which I appreciate. Because, uh, yeah, if I died, I don't want to have to repeat all of this stuff all over again. Booyah! Okay. Uh, more rail grinding. Yeah, because the crates are so small in this game, like way smaller than in the Insane Trilogy, and I'm pretty sure every other Crash game, I really have to keep an eye out for these uh, boxes like that, and that- Oh no! How did I miss that? I pressed the button, man! I pressed the button! I'm gonna have to die now. Alright. <sighs> yeah, there's a checkpoint there, I have to die. And boxes over here! There's a lot of boxes there. But I gotta die! <laughs> That was a very uh, valiant uh, leap to the death. Uh, sorry, Torna. But I want to try and get the box gem in this level. And hopefully the uh, three lives gem too. If I can uh, get that, that would be nice. Because the insanely perfect relic is already out the window. I'm not going to be getting that. Alright. Jump! Okay, this time I'm going to hit the outline crate. You're not going to stop me, game. There we go. You just have to wait for the button prompt. That's what it is. If you do the hook shot too early, and the button prompt isn't there, then it's not going to work. Which uh, kind of sucks. But yeah. Alright. Oh, what? No! What the heck was that? Oh, no, guys. Oh, no. The pressure's on. If I die one more time... The three lives gem is uh, not negotiable. <laughs> I cannot get it. The game is not going to let me. Oh, great. Uh, hello? You guys saw that, right? The hookshot was going through the crate. That seems a little weird to me. Whatever. Yeah, see, guys, you got to wait for the button prompt. Okay, wait, go. Wait, go. There we go. That's how it works. Jump! Whoa, okay, see? See, I did it too early there. I almost died again. Alright. We gotta be close to the end, right? We've done so much rail grinding. Oh, I probably should have broken these boxes first. Oh, well, whatever. 
Jeez, over a thousand Wumpa Fruit. That is crazy. And there's the third Wumpa Gem. Nice. Okay, is there like a... Whoa, is there a box back here somewhere? Mm, I don't think so. Oh my goodness, this feels really dangerous. Oh look guys, it says uh, Papu in the background. Like uh, Papu Papu from uh, Crash Bandicoot 1. So how was Papu Papu and Aku Aku and Dingo Dial like still around in the year 3000? Because doesn't this dimension take place in the year 3000 something? So how are these guys all still around? That's what I want to know. And why is Papu Papu and Aku Aku like celebrities now? Why are they celebrities in the future? I need some context, man. Give me the uh, futuristic context. Oh, okay. Once again, almost did it too early. Well, I did do it too early, but uh, I made up for it. Man, this is a really, really long level. Oh yeah. This is going to be the longest level so far. Oh my goodness, okay. But it is good though, because this kind of makes up for the... Uh... Oh no, oh no, please. Please, no. Please, game. Okay. Jeez, that was so close. I almost died there. Thank goodness for the double jump. If I didn't have the double jump, I would have died just then. Like, seriously. Oh great, another one of these sections. Well, this level is called Rush Hour, right? <laughs> okay then. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, this is gonna be fun. Body slam! Alright. There's probably some hidden boxes here. I guess I might as well try and find them. Oh, okay, okay, no, no, no. This is too fast for me, too fast for me! What the heck? Okay, well, there goes the three lives gem. I guess I don't need to worry now. Doesn't matter if I die. It doesn't even matter. Whoa, okay. This is this is kind of crazy. This is kind of crazy, man! Oh my goodness, craziness overload. Can I just get this Aku Aku crate, please? Aku Aku, help me! Help me, man! Oh my goodness, finally! Jeez! Alright. Ah, oh, come on! Oh, this part is so hard. This level was going to be really hard to perfect relic because it's such a long level and these rush hour parts are difficult. Alright, there we go. I can catch up to the traffic, it just takes some time. Alright, alright, okay, come on. We can do this, we can do this. Oh my goodness, wasn't this supposed to be relaxing? We're supposed to get some snacks and, you know, relax after our victory? Okay, whatever, I don't care. Mmm, spicy fried mystery food. Yes! We got the box gem! Heck yeah! Alright. At least we got one of those gems. Either the three lives gem or the box gem. The box gem is probably more annoying, so I'm glad that I got that. Oh my goodness. That was a really challenging level and a really, really long level too. Oh my goodness. Probably the longest one so far. Like, was that one longer than Crash Landed? Because I think Crash Landed was the longest before that one. Yeah, I think this one probably was longer. Okay then, jeez. Man. Okay, so the next level is a Cortex one. The Crate Escape! Oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> okay guys, so, I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll finish up the Snacks Dimension and do this, uh, the Crate Escape level. And then we can see if there's another world after this one. I think that there probably is at least one more and one more boss battle. But I guess we'll find out in the next video. Alright, I'll see you guys next time! Bye everyone!